I remember when I was when I was a little kid. I used to it used to be this um, little short man with a uh, with a suit and a uh, and a hat like the damn guy seen standing at the thing. <laughs> he had a hat. He had a hat on, and he used to always stand in my closet. And every time I would look and see him, I would jump up out the bed and I run and turn on the lights and I would slam the closet door. You scared? I was. A, I used to see him. All When that brutal weather comes out, I forgot to tell you there's going to be a million ancestors coming with it, right? That's right. Hey, Tanae. How are you, Tanae? I know all is well. Right. How's everything going? But, I mean, if anybody has any questions now, we're done talking. We did the predictions. Do y'all have any questions? What's your questions? Y'all can ask questions. Let me see. Let me see, hold on. Anybody has any questions they want to ask? Oops. I hit the wrong button. If you got questions, let us know. We did the prediction, so remember. You want to go over briefly real quick what we've seen for the prediction? Um, let me see what we went over. We went over um, love, health, finances, and weather. Oh, we didn't touch politics. Oh, politics. Okay, go ahead with politics. Politics, like I said, um, I just see a lot of exposure. And matter of fact, <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed like it seemed like all these black politicians that are doing stuff they have no business doing. <laughs> they getting exposed left and right too. You know, we had a uh, there was a was a, I don't know if she was a governor or a mayor up in New Jersey. Her husband was selling cocaine, and um, they busted him, and they had her face all over the news, even and her husband, even though she wasn't the one saying her husband was. Then there was another a senator, I think, in New Jersey. She ran into a she was she was drunk driving and ran into a car. I don't know. It's got some energy go, going on up there in that you political think they scene. Was on them? Political scene up in New Jersey. I don't know, but I just. <laughs> it's, something right, going on. it's something going on in New Jersey. I don't know. Now, now, uh, Majestic, while you asked us if Trump was coming back, tell, put, touch on that a little bit more because what do you mean he's coming back? I'm not understanding that. As president, what you talking about, Majestic? Well, elaborate on that for us a little bit more. Can we all call on the ancestors of my classmate? Shaniqua Peterson to heal her. She was shot in the head in the shooting in Miami, and she is in critical condition. Wow, you did say that a minute ago, and I apologize, Jaleesa, because I should have actually mentioned it, um, and I forgot about the shooting in Miami. So we're going to ask the ancestors to rise up on her behalf. We're going to call on Obaluaye, or Sapano. We're going to call, because everybody calls them different things in different tribes. So we're going to ask that he gives her a speedy healing, a quick healing. And we're going to ask that she comes through this. Toimu, Ashe. Okay. All right. Is there still portals open with high activity? Like, are there still overlapping dimensions happening right now? That's a good question. We've been seeing portals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've been we seen we were driving um, a couple of weeks ago and we seen a portal in the middle of the street and we couldn't stop and we drove right through it. But it was just weird because I'm like, where did it was at night? It wasn't in the daytime and we seen we seen the ring around the street like this and it looked just like a portal. And it was, it was pouring and we drove right through it. Um, Lanisha, to answer your question, yes. There's portals in different places. Um, now, as far as the dimensions uh, overlapping each other, I'm not saying it was like it was. I keep what I see spiritually is I'm seeing that they're like, like right, right a little bit above each other. Now, like we said in earlier, in the full moon that we just had, the transformation, you know, is taking us to the next level, to the next dimension. Okay, so do embrace it. But um, the portals are everywhere. Everywhere, do pay attention because I see them a lot, and and you know they're there for a reason because some will go through the portals and some will not. Uh -huh. Some people are still in the third dimension. And <laughs> those of you that do spiritual work, y'all have portals in your house, y'all just don't know it. 
<laughs> That's right. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, so, okay, so, Majestic Rock, do your homework, my brother. Do your homework. Go right now and go look and see. Because you asked the question, but you just heard that. So, you know, I don't read every news that I see. You know, I'm, I'm focused on everything else, making products, doing work, doing spiritual work, doing readings, doing cleansing, and all that stuff, right? So I don't really, but do your homework. Tell me what you see, because they said that Trump was coming back. You got to elaborate on that for me. I got to see it to believe it. Exactly. Denisha Owen said, I had sleep paralysis last night. I called on my essence, and then it stopped. All right, good, because that, that, that wasn't sleep paralysis. That was demons trying to hold you down. That's yeah. what I see. You okay. good, because some people, the demons will shut their mouth. <laughs> and you be going... You can call them in your mind. Okay? Yeah. Um, Lanisha, be very careful. I think if I can remember, you're spiritual. And and spiritually seeing, you're supposed to be doing spiritual work, uh, Lanisha. You're ignoring your calling. And not only that, it's okay to do what you do, but you also have to... I, I always say spirit first. So I do all my spiritual stuff first. I'm doing rituals. I'm doing cleansings. We're doing all the things we need to do spiritually first. Now, I like to sing. I do that after. We like to go spend money. We like to go to the movies. We like to have fun. We do that after. But when it comes down to spiritual first, we're doing the works of the ancestors first. We don't play with that. And then everything else we can enjoy doing. But do pay attention to that because they're trying to alert you, your ancestors. Majestic Rod, do you got a Ouija board in your house? <laughs> He say, "Oh, uh, he say, do I have porters in this? Do you have porters in this house? I don't know, Majestic Rock. Majestic Rock, how many bedrooms do you have? Correct me if I'm wrong. I see three bedrooms, or one that can be like. A, if I, am I correct, Majestic Rock? There's one room in your house. There's a smaller room, and it's a portal in there. That's what I see." I could be wrong, but I'm picking up two bedroom, three bedroom, maybe. There's a, and I keep picking up a smaller room that is there's a portal in there. She said she couldn't talk. See, he was holding her mouth. Yeah, they will hold your mouth. So yeah, she right. You gotta use your. Right. Uh, one time I seen a, uh, I seen the, um, the, the shadow, a shadow man. He had a hat on and he had red eyes. And he was, we had our door open and we were asleep and he was standing at the door and <clears throat> I went to jump. I seen him. I thought somebody had broken the house. So I went to jump up to, to fight and I couldn't move. I was stuck in the bed like this. <laughs> and I was like, and I was trying to get her attention. I was going, yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't talk that shit. <laughs> and then, and then, he had to call then me. when she woke up, when she, when she woke up, I jumped up and I ran to the door and, and. There. See, he had to wake me up, y'all. Nah, because if, if it was somebody for real, I was like, shit, wake up so you won't get stabbed or don't something. Lie, I don't couldn't lie. move. Don't <laughs> I was like, hey, don't lie. Nah, it was because it was spiritual, y'all. It was spiritual. I was trying to get her attention, but she ain't even wake up. Yes, I did. If it was intruder, I did wake up. If it was intruder, we, <laughs> I would have been stuck to the bed. See, that's why you should have nah. had cameras in there, huh? Nah. They ain't huh. going to stop. The camera don't stop nothing. The camera's just a witness. Well, you, at least you can see. At least you'll be the able to see. Is just a witness. If it's intruder, you'll, you'll be able to well, hear that, something coming through that door. You, you, we just watched a video where somebody had cameras in their house and the, and the person broke in their house and they would sleep on the couch and they was walking yeah, around Yeah, well, me and you don't sleep Robin. that hard. We don't sleep. You, you snore like a cow, but guess what? We don't sleep that hard, so somebody going to... Yeah, he snore like a cow. But the point is, look, I hear. I will hear shit from the street down the street over there because I listen. Okay. So, Majestic Y said, yes, there is a smaller woman house. He does have three bedrooms. Okay, so you got three bedrooms. He said, where does it go? Let me tell you something. It goes to the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension. You need to do some meditation in that room, Majestic Y. You need to do some med uh, meditation. Can you walk through the portal? Yeah, call it up. But do some meditation in there so the portal begins to manifest itself and you should be able to walk through it. But it depends on you, though. Because I see that if you try, you're not going to believe it. You got to manifest that shit in your mind and see it for what it is, and then it'll begin to come up. My cat kept checking. What did she say? I don't know. It disappeared. 
My cat kept checking on me, laughing. At me. See, cats. Are, that's why it's good to have cats. People don't understand. They make girl cats, pet. not boy cats. Boy cats too. They don't understand. They're worse. <laughs> Your cats will come and protect you from spirits. They will attack spirits too. They will watch. And if a cat's there, the spirits are not gonna go past the cat. Y'all know that. A lot of people don't know cats protect you from demi um, demonic spirits and stuff like that. They will protect you. But when you start seeing your cat and he wants to be next to your bed, he's letting you know there's a spirit in there. He's going to watch you, okay? How do you connect with baby spirits? No. Okay, well, thanks. Um, you call them. Just their ancestors, Neosha. Their ancestors. So you call... That's you? Oh. Yeah. You call down them spirit, that baby spirit and you connect with your spirit. It's an ancestor, just like if your grandmother... When somebody dies, you call down that spirit and you communicate with that spirit, with that baby, okay? Hmm. You look like you're real tired and get bored and, and, and get Nancy for sitting here. All right, y'all see him? <laughs> Teray? A tarot? A tarot? Like Bo. Like Bo? Tarot. <laughs> he don't need to go to the Navy. Nope. Not a good idea. Not. A good idea because not the water. Them, not with them aliens coming up. Right. Water. That water right now is not a good look to be on. I'm telling y'all what I know. Y'all seen Don't. that movie where they was fighting them aliens in that? <laughs> in the sea? With the one with the movie with Rihanna that was fighting them aliens? Hey, y'all going to, they about, they about to expose themselves. You don't want him on that sea. Okay. I had a cousin that passed back in March. That before she passed, I saw her picture in the graveyard. But the week before she went into the hospital, a woman appeared to me in a dress. Let me see. Press it. In white places. Tell me who was, who was it? Okay, but the week before she went into the hospital, a woman appeared to me dressed in white places. Tell me who was it, oh, please. Please, Deborah. Um, Deborah. What Spirit is showing me is that that woman was one of your um, cousin's ancestors. Look, now, did she, was she an older woman? Did she like a caramel complexion? She has silver hair? This is what I'm picking up. An older woman, silver hair. She like, she might have been 80 years old in her 80s. And it looks like she was an ancestor of your cousin. Preferably a great, great grandmother. That's what I'm seeing. Okay? Shit. Portal begin to manifest itself and you should be able to walk through it but it depends on you though because i see that if you try you're not going to believe it you got to manifest that shit in your mind and see it for what it is and then it'll begin to come up my cat kept checking what did she say i don't know it disappeared my cat kept checking on me laughing at me. see cats are, that's why it's good to have cats people don't understand they make girl cats cat. not boy cats boy cats too they don't understand they worse <laughs> Your cats will come and protect you from spirits. They will attack spirits too. They will watch. And if a cat's there, the spirits are not going to go past the cat. Y'all know that. A lot of people don't know cats protect you from demi um, demonic spirits and stuff like that. They will protect you. But when you start seeing your cat and he wants to be next to your bed, he's letting you know there's a spirit in there. He's going to watch you. Okay? How do you connect with baby spirits? No. Okay, well, thanks. Um, you call them. Just their ancestors, Neosha. Their ancestors. So you call... That's you? Oh. Yeah. You call down them spirit, that baby spirit and you connect with your spirit. It's an ancestor. Just like if your grandmother or somebody dies, you call down that spirit and you communicate with that spirit, with that baby, okay? You look like you're real tired and get bored and, and, and get Nancy for sitting here. All right, y'all see him? <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, okay. All right, any more questions, family? Come on. Y'all got us. Let me see. Hold on, hold on. Because y'all know we've been doing once a month now because we've been so busy. Do, do I get spirits in my house? If I, I can't if so, see do I now. get them out? Do I got spirits in my house? And if so, do I got... Okay. Tiffany. What kind of furniture you got? It looks like some furniture you got is black. I don't know if it's a black bedroom set or a black couch. Or did you have one in the past? Did you have a spirit in that room? Like, I mean, excuse me. Did you have some black furniture in that house somewhere? Tell me, okay? Tell me if you had some black furniture because 
I do see some spirits in your house. There's three spirits that I'm picking up in your house. One of them is a gargoyle spirit, okay? You got yellow leather. Where's the black coming from? Did you ever have black leather? Because I'm seeing these spirits came from something black in your house. I don't know if your bedroom set, if you had a bedroom set, or years ago you might have had, you understand? Something black in the house that keeps showing me. Now, you have three of them in your house. One of them is a gargoyle spirit, okay? He walks around, he walks through the kitchen, he walks in your living room, he walks everywhere, okay? You got two of them. One of them likes to stay in the bathroom. Smoke out your bathroom. And then there's one that stays in your bedroom, and it looks like... What side do you sleep on? You sleep on the left side or the right side, Tiffany? She said she got a chocolate... Uh, bedroom set, a dark chocolate Okay, bedroom. so maybe that's what I'm dark picking up. Bedroom. So is it dark colored? Okay. Alright, dark chocolate? Okay. Now, there's a spirit. If you lay on the side of the bed, it's on your left side in the corner. And this spirit watches you when you sleep. And it's not a dwarf spirit. It's a, it's a, it's a dark spirit that I see stands in your corner when you sleep. You need to smoke out your house. And you get that spirit out your house. She said she got some, uh, what did she say? Some open the mouth herb or something? What did she say? says that. Oh, she said that? Oh, okay, I thought that. Oh, that's Tiffany. Okay, my bad. All right, Lanisha, bro, smoke out the house, okay? You sleep on the left side, right? Okay, so look, that spirit stands in that corner right there. And that spirit watches you. Jaleesa Fortner says, please send some good spirits my way. I am taking my real estate exam for the second time this Saturday. Jaleesa, you need to come get some uh, some Cosmo Naki. Cosmo Naki. Oh, yeah, we got a new product, y'all. Latest product, family, is another another series of the Series D products called Cosmo Naki. It will help you remember anything you're studying or just in general. Yeah. In general. And then it just also... memory enhancement. Memory enhancement. And also it decalcifies your penile gland. It's also good for nerves. It's called Cosmo Naki. Okay? It's on our webpage. You can check oh, it you out. you put it on there already? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. We'll um, and then y'all see us promote it. But yeah. let me tell y'all something. This medicine... I don't like to say medicine. It's herbs. You have to take it three times a day. And you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. The first dose you want to take at night before you go to bed, okay? Okay. Tiffany Simpson says, My son is graduating high school next week and I and is thinking about the Navy. Is that something he should do? Is that something he should pursue? What's your first your son's first name, Tiffany? Tell me your son's first name. At least for sure, I'll make it tonight for you. Order it off the website, and when he comes, he can pick it up tomorrow, okay? Yeah, because he, he, he owes us a mission. Yeah. All right, so Tiffany, okay, what's your son's first name? My son is graduating high school next week and is thinking about the Navy. Is that something he should pursue? Ah, Tiffany. Teray? A tarot? A tarot? Like bow. Like bow. Tarot. <laughs> he don't need to go to the Navy. Nope. Not a good idea. Not a good idea because not the without water. Them, not with them aliens coming up. Right. Water. <laughs> that water right now is not a good look to be on. I'm telling y'all what I know. Y'all seen don't. that movie where they was fighting them aliens in that? <laughs> in the sea? With the one with the movie with Rihanna? They was fighting them aliens? Hey, y'all gonna, they about they about to expose themselves. You don't want him on that seat. Okay. I had a cousin that passed back in March. You know, before she passed, I saw her picture in the graveyard. But the week before she went into the hospital, a woman appeared to me in a dress. Let me see. That's it. In white places, tell me who was who was it? Okay, but the week before she went into the hospital, a woman appeared to me dressed in white. Places tell me who was it, please. Please, Deborah. Um, Deborah. What Spirit is showing me is that that woman was one of your 
um, cousin's ancestors. Look, now did she, was she an older woman? Did she like a caramel complexion? She has silver hair. This is what I'm picking up. An older woman, silver hair. She likes, she might have been 80 years old in her 80s. And it looks like she was an ancestor of your cousin. Preferably a great, great grandmother. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. I remember when I was when I was a little kid. I used to it used to be this uh, little sharp man with a uh, with a suit and a uh, and a hat like the damn guy seen standing at the thing. <laughs> he had a hat. He had a hat on, and he used to always stand in my closet. And every time I would look and see him, I would jump up out the bed and I run and turn on the lights and I would slam the closet door. <laughs> You scared? I was a little, I used to see him all the time when I was a little kid. Scary. Scary. <laughs> all right. I, I can't believe not I, see her face. If you would have told me I was going to be doing spiritual work at that age, boy, ooh, I wouldn't have believed you. And y'all be my... I'm talking about people, talking about people? Christianity. Oh, Christianity. People trying to convert people to Christianity. Mm-hmm. People are going to try because they think it's the end of the world. They think it's Armageddon. They are trying. Okay, we're almost done. They're trying. To I think the prices for kids are going up because these people are getting desperate trying to snatch kids in broad daylight now. Now, I'm talking about people. Are you talking about people? Christianity. Oh, Christianity. People trying to convert people to Christianity. Mm-hmm. People are going to try because they think it's the end of the world. They think it's Armageddon. They are trying. Okay, we're almost done. They're trying to convert people to Christianity because they want you to be saved by God and Jesus. Don't say I didn't tell you so. They're going to start coming out the woodworks trying to get you to confess your sins, okay? To get baptized in the name of Jesus, okay? And they're going to be some evil motherfuckers. And that's right. Be careful. But you're going to think they're not. <clears throat> My, um, what was it? Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, we was walking. <laughs> We was walking about two weeks ago, me and Wunam, and we was going to Target, and I was going in the store, and this African brother from the motherland, thick accent and everything, and he seen me with all my protection on and everything, and he's like, hey, I want to invite you to church, so I know, I'm like, are you serious? So I walked up to the car, and I said, I don't believe in no white ass Jesus, and I walked away. <laughs> said, That's when I see, she was like, my compl caramel complexion, I'm caramel, y'all. I'm not yellow, I'm not a red bone, I'm caramel, okay? I got some, you know. That's what I used to call it. I used to like, come here, yellow. <laughs> Stop lying. Stop lying. Keep lying, y'all. Hey, Yella. What you, know, you doing, Yella? You know goddamn well. Y'all know goddamn well I wouldn't tolerate no shit like that. So what you doing, Yella? Y'all know my ass is like, who the hell you think you talking to? Like, Yella, my ass. Look, for real. Y'all know I wouldn't tolerate I'm you. trying to bless you. I ain't trying to stress you. I would have been like, shut and I would have like, that's what I would have been like. Hey. Bless you, stress you. Because the hell like, you talking about the corniest shit, y'all. You talking about the corniest hey. lies. I'm like, hey, what? but you see where she at, right? This is my baby right here. Right? Look, you see it work. <laughs> you lucky, I love his you know, old bald head itself. All right, y'all. Wait a minute. She okay. was your complaint. My daughter is also graduating next week, leaving for college in August. Will her transition be smooth? Did she commit to the right school? Um, today, what's the school? Um, let me just warn y'all. For kids who got who who okay, let me warn y'all for the ones who got kids going off to college. I had to deal with this ten years ago. When my daughter, mm -hmm. no, like uh -oh. maybe eleven years ago. Preach. So I let her go on down to college. She was going to HSBCU, right? Mm -hmm. I had to keep running down to the goddamn college because if it wasn't one thing, it was another. It was over the boy. It was over the girl. The girl fighting with this girl. I had to. Keep running down there, y'all. The last job when I had to go down there at 3 o'clock in the morning and get my child out of college because they did some dumb shit on the campus. They put a girl's picture naked all over the campus, although she deserved the shit because she started it. And I had to go get my child because we're trying to lock up. I'm driving down South Carolina, look, 100 miles an hour, going to get my child. Get your shit out the dome. Let's go. We're coming home. You're going home and uh, locally so I can watch your ass, right? So, saying that, y'all. It's a beautiful thing. They're going off to college. And it's a beautiful thing. But they get a little slippery in college. Because I had to keep on her ass. Because I had to take out the loan 
She got an academic scholarship, but I had to take out the loan to pay for the rest of the shit. So you're not taking your ass to school. And not only that, y'all, she got an academic scholarship because she was on a roll student from kindergarten to high school, but she messed it up. She messed it up fooling around with a little Negro. She ain't had no business fooling around with. Be careful of that. Be yeah. careful. See? Now, that, what school that, is she going to that, today? That's why you should kind of keep try to keep them close if you can, because some kids can't. North Carolina AT&T. I got family, you know, my father's mother's side is from uh, uh, Mount Olive, my father's mother's side. Now, I got family in Greensboro. I used to live in Greensboro for about, I would say about six months to a year. North 18, that's a good school, but they be partying their asses off, okay? So you make sure she go there to learn and not play. Make sure you keep on her because uh, my daughter went from having honorable to 3.0 because she want to play around and worry about some damn boy. <laughs> but that's a good school. She'll be all right. She, she'll be all right today. She's going to be good. You'll see.